teachers, in this video I'll be giving you a quick demonstration on how to use Skype. I've used Skype many times for online lessons and I really love how easy it is to use. I'll be showing you this demonstration for my computer, so we'll go ahead and jump over there for me to show you how to use it for your online lessons. All right, the first thing you're going to do is go to skype.com and click on download Skype. Then while that's downloading, you can go up to the top right and choose sign up. And this is where you're going to create a free Skype account. You'll connect your Skype account to a phone number or an email. After you've created your account and finished downloading Skype, go ahead and log into Skype. Once you've logged into Skype, here is what it's going to look like. And now I'll walk you around Skype just for a minute. Up on the top left, click on Skype, audio and video settings. This is where you can change your webcam, which webcam you choose to use, whether that's your computer webcam or if you have an additional webcam, this is where you can see the two. This is also where you'll select your microphone if, you have a, if you're using an external microphone. Over on the left are some other settings. Something you may want to do is change your profile photo. This is also where you can access your contacts. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make a call and I'll show you how I use Skype during a lesson. All right, here we are inside a call with a student, my wonderful husband student today. <laughs> He's great at demonstrating for me. <laughs> okay, so now that you're in your call, let's walk you around a little bit. Up on the top right, this is where you're going to select which camera angle to use. So let's go ahead and click the down arrow and I'll turn on the front facing so that you can see me for a moment. Down on the bottom right, you can also go to your audio and video settings. This is a cool feature. If you want to record a lesson, you'll click start recording. It'll record that for you and then contain a link to the video after you've made that recording. Right here is screen share. So you're going to click on this if you want to share music or an activity or anything else with the student. Up at the top, you can change to share application window or share your entire screen. Okay, we're going to go ahead and share our entire screen. Now we're screen sharing our entire screen. So I am going to share some music with the student. So the student can now see what child is this. I can click through the pages. I can play along with them and I can point anything out with my cursor during the lesson. When you're ready to stop screen sharing, you just go down to the bottom right, stop sharing. Down here at the bottom is where you can mute and unmute your microphone as well as turn your video on and off. Here is where you can chat with a student. If you want to send them a link to a YouTube video or a file or a link to something online you want them to view, you can send that to them here in the window. Then they can follow that link and use it during the lesson live. All right, those are all of the features for Skype. When you're ready to finish the call, you just click here. All right, that's how you're going to use Skype during your online lessons. If you have any other questions about using it or any of the technical things behind Skype, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any other questions that you have.